Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and in this episode we will be continuing our playthrough of Vaporum. We have just reached the level Creepy Little Things and we've already picked up the item on this pressure plate and fought all the evil spiders that came through as this game likes to do, just ambush the player. <laughs> so now Let's actually begin explorating, explorating, nice, exploring the level. So I like the colors of this level, I like the green. This door seems rather suspicious. I shall have to keep my eye on it. Hmm. I'm kind of afraid that these grates are gonna open and some sort of giant roach is gonna come out. But we'll have to deal with it once we get there. Ooh, is that a trap? That looks like cool. Like some sort of trap. What do you do? I see. Wait. Oh, okay. So it makes a trap, if we can call it a trap, move. It stands on top of the pressure plate and it caused this door to open up. Okay. Some pumps. What else can we find? Oh, pressure plate! Sorry, I'm kind of traumatized <laughs> with pressure plates in this game. Usually... That means some monsters are gonna come and kill me. So let's leave a gift to our pressure plate gods. Oh, we can't. Okay. What have you got in there? Hmm. I was trying to see if there was like a pressure plate inside so that I could throw an object inside. Oh no! Okay, just... Yeah, shoot the thing. Steal the HP. No. Smack him. Okay, so now it should be easier. Let's bait the attack. Fire him up. Yeah, you like that fire, don't you? Oops! Steal the HP. He's gonna... Shoot the acid. Yes, he is. Ha. I have defeated many of your brethren. You no longer scare me, good sir. Yeah. How close are we to leveling? Eh, not that close. Okay. I'm wondering if this, this box is going to be used for the pressure plate we found earlier. This level is quite dark. It's it's not easy to see. Oh. Wait. So we have a pressure plate and we have a red indicator. Uh oh, nice. I didn't spot this before. Oh. So we have some bullets. We have a steel dagger, which, I mean, it's more than double damage, even though this has a chance to poison and some precision. Eh, let's see, let's, let's take this. In fact, let's override the iron sword, because we have the light sword. And the captain pistol deals 60 damage. What have we equipped? A rifle that deals 76, so much better. However, 60 damage, 2.5 cooldown, 40 damage. Okay, so this is strictly better. This is the piercer, so let's keep it with us. The lieutenant rifle, I can get rid of this, but I don't need to right now. So let's see what we've got. Long time no see. Hey buddy, haven't seen you in a long time. Since they assigned me to the labs, life is one big bore. 
The people here are different, so serious and reserved. Someone could have told me the dress code was funeral up here. <laughs> I like that. Suits, cloaks, ties and bland looks. Something's definitely going on on this floor, I can tell you that. Something just cannot quite find the words to best say it. See you in the canteen tomorrow, Jane Shane. And we also have an audiograph, Arrogant Laura. Laura's been acting really weird the last few months. She always used to like my quips and observations about the projects and the personnel, but now she's grown arrogant, even towards me. I understand the ordinary worms on her team don't deserve sympathy, but why does she just glance over me? I'm not just anybody, I'm James Kroll. After all, maybe Mrs. Page wasn't as off about Laura as I thought. There's definitely something going on with her. Something subversive. Yeah, so now he's noticing. So he's talking about her growing arrogant. However, he's treating the other people as ordinary worms that don't deserve sympathy. While you were betraying Paige's confidence. I do not like this guy, Mr. James Kroll. Okay, so let's see. What have we here? Do we have something behind this box? We have a lever. And this lever... Ah, uh... oh, okay. So the lever opened a pressure plate which seems to open something over here or does it open that door okay so can i use a brick no i need to use the box okay fair enough let's push it over there pull it go around Push it. Oop, come here. And we've got something open. It sounded like it came from over here. Okay, so now this one needs to work with some sort of item. Okay. So that's settled. Wait, does this open on this pressure plate? It does. Alright, so what have we opened? I really don't like when doors close on me. Ah, okay, never mind. So, we inverted that pressure plate. Oh god. Yo, I don't, I don't, I don't like... Oh, come on, holes? Oh, you got stunned. Nice. No, no, no. Mm, not what I wanted. You little bitchy. Still HP. God damn it. Fire! Oh. Okay, so the spider is dead, so now this is a free kill. I really hope we can find the better version... I forgot this. Of our drainer. Since this is definitely our, our best gadget, it provides so much sustain. No, go away. Come here, you. Smack. Smack. Wait, he's gonna... He's gonna poop the acid. He's gonna come over here. Steal the HP. Hit him. Hit him again. Is he gonna poop? He's gonna poop. Man, at times it looks like they have more HP than previously. Or I'm just missing a lot of attacks. Okay, so we have defeated this arena, this gauntlet. And we have some doors opening up for us. Death on both sides. 
There are a lot of ways we can go. <laughs> this this pressure plate leaves me very anxious. Very anxious. And I'm betting as soon as I step on it, that door is gonna close. Of course it did. Acid. Fire. Okay, please die quickly. I'm, I'm blocked in, as you guys may have noticed. Let's see. Yeah. I started to heal, but I was not in time. It's okay, it's okay. Let's make our way back there, and this time, let's try not to get stuck. So, he comes out from over here. He comes out from over here. So let's just get stuck immediately. So this time, we're gonna aim for the easier target. Easier target, I said. Jesus, he took a lot of a lot of damage. Okay, let's do this again. You're poisoned, and I need. Damn it! I'm still gonna get stuck. Okay, this is not as bad. But definitely not good. Let's fire them both and move out. Okay, we baited the attack. Let's let's hit him. And let's actually try and drain him a bit so that we can regen some HP. Not a lot, I don't plan on like, spending the whole day just draining. I like it when I find chests. So a new audiograph. Time has come. Marcus has sailed away to the Bureau of Citadel, supposedly to answer for how he lost control over me in the tower, to provide explanations and defend me from prosecution for neglecting protocol. Marcus is a coward, a scared fool, a short-sighted lackey to the Bureau who can't understand the importance of freedom in my research projects. Same goes for all the fools who've been rebelling against me since his departure, unwilling to continue the experiments. Who cares? Now that Marcus is away, my real research shall commence, whether anyone likes it or not. Yeah, so... I don't understand how she could have grown so distant from me. I just can't believe the change was natural. There must have been something sinister behind it all. As I was gonna say, she just lost it. She didn't care about me or her husband anymore. She didn't care about the child. All that mattered to her was the research. And for some reason, I left the building. Oh my god, this spells death again, doesn't it? Oh, wait. Whoa. We have six lights wait green not green let me check something so this has always been in the back of my mind and what was it My apologies for not remembering which one it was, but I'm looking for the note which had a combination of six digits written on it. I'm just quickly trying to find it and this time I'm gonna need to keep a mental note of the name of the note itself. Jesus, so much stuff, man. And then this. Okay, so... None of this. 
No. <sighs> Luckily, I suspected it was this one because it was not visible at the start. <laughs> so, 110010. 1100010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010
mixing up places. Okay, so we have a box which we can move only forward. Let's save the game in case we mess something up. We have a different box which we can also only move forward. So let's see where this takes us. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So I'm just I'm just making like a, a bridge. Nothing fancy. In you go. This is still death. Do you have a gun? Yes, you do. Of course you do. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. Okay, so my gadgets actually deal decent damage. Not as much as I would like, but decent. So, nothing over here. I cannot move this box. Oh, God. And... Okay, so we have another another box puzzle. I can move this one over here. And I can keep moving him. Uh, I'm very curious as to what this accomplishes, but... But, okay. So... Okay, so we free the path over in this direction. Oh, I see a chest there. I want to get to that chest. I'm guessing we're going to cover the hole here. Yes, we are. So, we have freed ourselves. Really? This box is making me anxious. I must say. I, I don't believe this box is just there for... for cosmetic purposes. There's gotta be a way to lower this somehow. Come on, we're locked in and I see a trap right over there. So, we're gonna die. I'm just curious as to how we're gonna die and this is death. But there's a spooder over there. So the spooder... Can actually die before me, but... Wait, let's, let's just see if there's an alternative to... To dying like a dummy. Anything on the lamps? Nothing on the lamps. We have this door. Maybe this 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 grate opens up when I step here. Please. 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 Okay. Okay. Anything here? Any secrets? Quickly? Quickly? Okay. I didn't see anything, but... Oh! Wait. Okay, so this is not the same place, but I'm gonna quick save because I'm probably get, gonna get destroyed. Let's move. Oh no! It was really fast. Okay. So my plan was good. I just need to get over here quicker. Okay, so you just keep circling around. What have we here? The steel sword. Ours is. Jesus, it's not better, it's worse. But crits apply burning. Okay, let's take this. Newfound joy. Hey friend, remember my last letter going on about how boring life was here? Well, you can just forget about that. We're working on a new exciting experiment led by Laura Reich. 
She's amazing, and I must say I finally found my place in the tower. Won't be able to meet you at lunch anytime soon. You know, buried under all the test tubes and papers and tasks. Haha. <laughs> Jane Shane. So... Is this like a fake letter? Or is she genuinely enjoying... Nah, this is sarcasm, right? So we got a lot of complaints from her already. So I don't believe she's happy with Laura. Okay, let's see. Let's get out of here. You can just die there, okay? Good boy. Okay, so we have a poison spooder. And I can't actually see anything else. So let's let's get in here. This is not good, but we can bait him. Okay, so let's fire everything we got at him. And this was a bad decision because now we're stuck. <laughs> we're gonna tank him. We're just gonna tank him. Take fire. Okay. Okay, so acid is... It's bad, but it's not as bad as some of the others. Some of the other effects, I mean. Ammo, ammo. Oh my lord. A guardian shotgun. 90 damage. Jesus. Guess we can just leave the assault shotgun, right? There's no point in keeping the assault shotgun when we have the guardian shotgun. So, robust plating. So this is toughness. This is simply toughness. And we can replace... We can replace this hammer, which we don't use. And let's hear the revolt audiograph. The fools revolted. It began within my own team of underlings and quickly spread to the common workers. They accuse me of people disappearances, that I neglect safety and push them to the limits in taking grave risks. Useless worms. They have no idea that some of them have already become a part of my secret experiment. One not even Marcus knows about. At the gathering, even James Kroll, the prodigy kid and loyal follower of my endeavors, questioned me. Questioned me. Laura Reich. What nerve! And then he pointed at my Fumium amplifier headset, accusing the substance of having infected me. All of a sudden, this uncontrollable primal anger took hold of me. I lashed out at him and struck him with a discharge. The kid just collapsed to the ground with his eyes gouged Ooh. out and his brain leaking out of his ears. And then... I blacked out. Okay, so our wife... I just can't believe what was happening during my absence. Why would Laura do such things? At least the state the tower's in is starting to make sense now. So my wife just started beating people up and killing them. God damn. Let's not mess with this lady. Oh. A suspicious button. This just closes the door, maybe. Yeah. Why? Do I want to close the door? Hmm. Now. We can move forward. But this takes us... Back over here. Huh. There's probably a secret around here somewhere, but I could not find it. And I'm always trying to to be on the lookout for secrets. Oh boy. Wait, I just came from here. So I need... Nah, man, I just came from here. What the hell? Right? What? I'm very confused. I, I just came from here. There are two buttons. Okay, this is kind of obvious, right? This opens the door, this closes the door. 
Does closing the door close this? No, it does not. God damn you levers. They're almost invisible. So, this is death. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna... I wanna go over here. Not back here. Oh... I see. I see... How this goes. Jesus, the levels are really confusing at times. So... I also want to explore that section, but I can't. Not for the moment, at least. There's a lever here. Maybe this closes this up. Let's try and f poop. Poop. Well, we gotta go over here. Let's just put the note right here. There's a hole in there. And there's also a hole in here. Am I correct? <clears throat> I am correct. So there's also a hole in here. <clears throat> so the only way we can move is this way. Now, what surprises... I need a key. Do we have in store for us? So, for anyone just starting to watch, put notes on things that you need to remember later. It will help you out a lot. This place, the main pipeline hub that brings Fumium to all other parts of the arcs. Can't believe I was once so proud of taming this stuff. I'm gonna get lost in here so hard. I'm I'm just waiting to see what kind of enemies are gonna come my way. Man, this even makes it hard to like see where you can move. Wait, wait, wait! I don't like you. Okay, I don't like you. I'm gonna kill you with all my power. Wait, who hit me? Oh, you! You guys are everywhere, aren't you? Yeah, take the shock. So, right, upgrading the blunt weapon was not all that bad, because... Oh, oh, come on. Blunt weapon strikes have a chance, you bitch, to shock the enemy. Oh, wait, oh, he can attack me from over here. So let's, let's start killing them one by one. Okay, you're done. No, no, no. You're done, and you will be done very soon. <clears throat> we are very strong at this point. <clears throat> okay. Um, I, I could have sworn I... I pulled this lever, didn't I? I believe I did. So let's just believe I did. I still can't move through here. I still cannot go over there. Let's let me just So this is a chest. And there's also a chest. I I I was seeing the chest somewhere. What am I Ah here. So also a chest over here. Now, we are starting to explore this area, and then the spooders come from over there. Okay. My guess is that there's another lever somewhere around here. Jesus, it's really hard to see, man. Have I pulled this one? I don't think I did.
Oh, what? no, wait. <clears throat> this hole is open, but this hole is now closed, or was it always closed? No, it wasn't. So give me the ammo. <clears throat> okay, so finally we have some useful armor for our build. <clears throat> now, I think this is better because it has double the energy regen and we do use a lot of regen. And it also has double the tech and a lot more HP. So yeah, even though we're gonna heal less, and that's something that I'm gonna be sad about because of our basic trainer. <clears throat> I believe that overall it is an improvement. So toughness, combat. I'm just gonna leave the dagger because I don't think I'm gonna use it. Let's equip this. And let's read Fumium Light. This is becoming almost laughable. We've just discovered yet another use for Fumium. Light. During motion in liquid form, it glows with this mesmerizing light blue color. Oh, so this is what we're seeing. This is Fumium. I've been staring at it for days since discovery and I just can't get enough. Very pleasant on the eye. I have submitted a proposal to use Fumium for lighting and it's already everywhere in circulation anyway. Oh, as it's already everywhere in circulation anyway. That would save us lots of running costs. Laura Reich was ecstatic about it. She said that the more ways we can put Fumium to work, the better. So I hope the proposal will go through. It will be so much more beautiful out here afterwards. Agatha Scherzi, Fumium Research Unit 4. <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit of a mess though. <clears throat> but it's not all that bad, I guess. I can't see a damn thing though. <laughs> I guess that's the point. Okay, so... Ooh, you bitch. Okay, so this closes... <gasps> nah. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh, I gotta get away. Ah, uh, great, they're crawling everywhere. Uh, wait, no, no. Oh my lord, there's so many. So let's, let's try to somehow... Maybe keep moving, but I can't. I must say, I'm really happy I took the um, the shield stun thing when I block. It's helping out immensely. Coupled with the basic drainer, I almost didn't lose any, any life. Now, I panicked, so I didn't actually get to see the contents of this chest. Oh, the rusty key. Okay. So now that we found the rusty key, I am going to get rid of this dagger. Yeah, it's pretty, but I'm not going to use it, so <clears throat> too bad. And we are going to remove this, remove this, and we're going to go in the direction of the rusty key door. I'm just curious if there's like a secret somewhere around here, which, you know, Likely there is, but they're not easy to find, I must say. So, we have used our rusty key. We can remove this. And, oh god. Okay, I still don't hear any spider feet. Oh! Nice. A superior acid nozzle. So it deals 15 damage per second over 7 seconds. Very nice. And it costs 130. <clears throat> so this is a, a definite upgrade. This is already coming in. I'm gonna take out this shield. Oh no, I'm not. Never mind. And we have a steel helm. However, I prefer mine as I get more energy and I get more tech. <clears throat> so even though this is a nice helmet, I'm not gonna take it because I don't have the space. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna use this, so <clears throat> let's take it. Slow progress. I'm a little worried about the current research projects we're undergoing. 
The Bureau is slow to analyze our output, and the documents we send out every month have still not been acknowledged or even given proper opponency. We haven't received authorization for the upcoming research schemes either. However, some teams continue to hammer away on their own initiative, and I have to curb the progress artificially. What's worse, more and more accidents are popping up around the research focused on Fumium. Is it because of the failure to comply with regulations, or because of the instability the substance is becoming known for? I don't know yet, and I want answers. So this voice actor some, sometimes feels a bit off. <clears throat> but still, it's fine. So this is us, Marcus Reich. We have found a little chest. And I'm just waiting for these spiders to start spawning in behind me. <clears throat> so we have an oh, oh god. <clears throat> an almost in Oh so this is where we are. So this plugs up. I hear you. You bitch. Yeah, it's here. No 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 no. You will not take me. Neither will you. Smack. And dead. <clears throat> so, lovely. Uh, by the way, I want to see something. This deals 50 damage over a, a three tile range, which makes it useful. But this one deals 70 damage, leaves you shocked for eight seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. <clears throat> so the advantage of the blowtorch is that there are um, quite a few enemies that seem to be immune to lightning, and I don't think I have yet found a single enemy that's resistant to fire, <clears throat> except of course turrets. Okay, so this lever closed that. Okay, so it it made us able to move this way okay so this is covered where are we now oh <laughs> it's easy to miss i'll tell you that punch punch we just gotta keep doing our little dance until you kill him But yeah, it's, it's better to get rid of him now than to forget he's there later and get shot. Because that's what happens to me every single time. Come on, almost there. Oh. Marcus, please. Please, Marcus. Ooh. Jesus. Finally, thank God. So, well, he dropped an item. Okay, ammunition. We have a lot of ammunition. We haven't been using it because it it's not been very necessary, I guess. Okay, so we're we're progressing over here. You know what's going to happen. This is a pressure plate, so... I'm going to get ganked from behind. <laughs> Man, this game... If nothing else... Is... Complete paranoia... Inducing. A lever! Oh god, a teleporter, so we're gonna start, <clears throat> oh, a chest, you bitchy, what, wait, what, oh. I hadn't spotted this, so a superior aim stabilizer is better than an advanced 
aim stabilizer, obviously. Okay, Fumium Power. Hey babe, glad to hear you're doing just fine now. See, thought you were overreacting, you know, everything was so new to you, the work, the people. We finished replacing the whole fueling core with Fumium propellants and I have to take back what I said about it earlier. Sure, it's a little more tricky to get around Fumium without compromising your health, but the damn thing outputs over 10 times more power than was ever possible with leading-edge combustion engines. This could be a game-changer for the world. So, no time to meet up with the Mo? Mo? Just let me know when you have a minute and we can go grab a beer. Peter Holland's fueling unit. I don't know who his babe is, but... <clears throat> okay. Oh my god. And we have a new audiograph called Massacre. When I came round, back to myself, I saw it. The massacre. It seemed that within a few hours, everybody in the tower had either been eradicated or fled to the sea. But even they were doomed in the inhospitable waters of Mare Vaporum. I feel so responsible for this. I didn't... I didn't really want this. But I can't control the fury that burns within me. My combat fumatons killed everybody. Oh, God. What happened to me? Mindlessly, as if led by something beyond me, I put the dead bodies that stayed in a more or less intact state into Fumium solution tanks and ordered the fumatons to clear out the tower of any further remains. Mm. Oh my God, woman, what did you do? <laughs> is that the devil inside you or is it Fumium? <laughs> so the Oh man, yeah, the voice actor sometimes, <clears throat> yeah, it, it it feels a bit odd. <laughs> what have you done, woman? Is it the devil inside? <laughs> no, husband, it's that time of the month. Jesus, Marcus. Okay, I got distracted. Um... Red light, so something is off. Uh, do I need to use this again? Okay, so this opened it back up. Wait. I see, so once I step in here, that closes, can... But this is a metal pressure plate, a metal, metal pressure plate, so it shouldn't... Yeah, it doesn't budge. It needs the weight of a body. Uh, so maybe I can do this. Okay, so let me think. As soon as that spider steps on that pressure plate, this door closes. And as soon as I step in here, the door also closes, am I correct? So door is open, door is still open. But she stepped over there, so my plans got screwed. Okay, so this is a puzzle which we will figure out in the next episode. So we're ending this one here. I think we made a lot of progress on this level, creepy little things, and it's been it's been an interesting level. I've liked it. We've learned a lot of lore, new lore about Laura, lore about Laura. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, uh, the game is being really fun to play. Um, <laughs> so as usual, thank you everyone for watching, if you have any thoughts, uh, leave a comment. Um, and if you want to get updated on any future uploads, I'm updating, I'm uploading daily now. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.